the girl. Okay. We good. Hi everybody. Hi. Hello, Hi. Um, I'll I'll introduce myself. Okay? Yeah, you I'm gonna go first. first. You guys, my name is Jessica Shoney. If you're not familiar with me, I am a senior executive and director with Monet. I did hair for 17 years behind the chair. Three years ago, Monet brought me home to my family. It was so wild. Never would have imagined it in a million years. I signed up with Monet five years ago because I saw how awesome it worked on one of my clients. It was simple as that. <laughs> and when I joined, I had really no thought of like not doing hair anymore. But it's where it's led, and I have four kids at home. <laughs> this isn't one of them. It's so precious. I have four kids at home, and they are super active in sports and everything. And as you know, as stylists, evenings and weekends are like our main time when we are working behind the chair. And so deep in my heart, I had this desire to want to be able to be home with my kids and be able to be present at their games and you know how it is it's just it's, it, you have to work that you cannot make money if you're not working behind the chair so i feel like it was a huge answer of prayer to me and three years ago i ended up closing the doors to my salon which was absolutely something i i mean it was our main money maker it was truly our baby and i never would have imagined that but here we are now. I still love hair and I still get to help people with their hair. So that's a little bit about me. <laughs> Jess and I, you guys, actually worked at three salons before she opened up her own salon. So I, I'm Tara, I'm Tara Baum. I um, have been doing Monate now for a little over four years. I recently just opened what you see right now is called the Velvet Iron. It's my new hair salon that honestly I always have like said to my husband, wouldn't it be so fun if I could just open my own salon one day? And it was always this, this, you know, this dream over here, but it was never really going to happen in my mind or in my heart that I was really going to actually do it. But the reason why I'm so, so, so passionate about not only about money, but helping other stylists, because you guys, I know something like this is probably in your mind or in your heart to actually want to do, but it's like never really gonna happen in your mind because you think, oh, it's just too expensive, you know, but you always wanna be able to do that. But, so I am just super grateful for money, and that's why I'm so, passionate about helping other stylists because I know what this business could do because I've seen it do this for myself, my family, my friends, my other stylists that I know that we all, we're all on this in the same page if we're just willing to open up our minds to it. So again, I've been with Money for four years. I have personally been a stylist for 16 years. Um, seven of those years, I took a big break because I had my my uh, first kid so I stepped back behind the chair or stepped away from the chair and I stopped here for a long time and so money kind of gave me back that that sense of you know like when you stop a job you lose your identity mm -hmm. so I just felt like I really wanted to get back into it because this is this is my thing this is like something I'm super passionate about I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm talking about. Like, you know what I'm talking about. If you're a stylist, like you just feel like this is your calling. Like you love, you love being creative. You love having relationships with other people and you love helping others succeed. So that's just a little bit about me. And okay, I'll go really quick before things get crazy. <laughs> okay. My name is Olivia Martin. Sorry guys. Um, I have three small children. Um, I've been doing money for almost five years now as well, and I just recently got back into the salon. I actually, the first salon I worked at was Jessica's, um, the loft, mm -hmm. and now I work at Charlie and Coates in Washington, and um, doing money behind the chair is a completely different experience than anything I've done. Um, starting back into the salon, it's, it was nerve-wracking, and it was just a whole different thing, but the confidence that Monet has given me as a stylist is something that I think is so like underrated when it comes to using like such an amazing product. But 
Um, I worked out of my home, now I'm in the salon, and I just am beyond passionate about um, hair and, and the products and the opportunity. I'm Elizabeth Garcia. I've known Jess for a long time. I don't even know how long. And she actually <laughs> came to me like a couple years ago and was like, Elizabeth, you have to try these products. And I was kind of rude and I was like, nope, I don't want any part of that. So then probably like a year and a half, two years ago, I was having issues with my hair and I was like voicing it to Jess and she's like, just try the products. So I have been using them ever since and the results speak for themselves. Um, then I went out and actually started working with Olivia at Charlie and Company in Washington, probably back in March. And she's really big into Monate too and was like, you just have to start selling it. What is wrong with you? Why are you not doing this? So I have done hair for 14 years and I'm like super passionate about like natural products, good products that speak for themselves. And I just started selling them in August, just like towards the end of August. And it has already like been life changing. So. And she's killing it. <laughs> she is. She's killing oh it. She gosh. just started. Yes. So yes. I'm still learning all the things. I love it. I'm super excited about it. So you're doing so good. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Here's the thing. Like I think our hearts basically wanting to do this is I think that there's a little bit of stigma with Monet and maybe you're on here just thinking, okay, I've heard about it. You have this like wall put up and you're just like, you know, you've heard rumors, you've heard things, you don't like that it's an MLM, all this stuff. And I think of it. Basically, our heart with wanting to have this live today is make sure that you truly understand what you're thinking and not just thinking it because of what somebody told you or what of something you heard and just encourage you because Monet truly has opened a door for stylists in a way that is so unimaginable. You guys, when I walked into this five years ago, Monet was only one years old. And I knew that the products were different the first time I used them. You guys, I had see-through thin hair. I was embarrassed of my hair. Good thing I was a stylist and knew how to like hide it all and make it look cute because no one would ever like look at me and be like, man, her hair is horrible. But it was to me. It is not the hair that you see today. And that's what drew me in. Yeah, you know me my whole life. It was not good. It was not terrible. And I would pull my hair down in the salon and be like, what can we do? And everyone would be like, we can't do nothing for you, Jesse. We can't do nothing for you. But Monet did. Monet truly turned my hair around and I remember as looking at the stuff and thinking these are all natural they're anti-aging and they are proven clinically proven to create a natural environment for hair to grow and that is what I needed and I thought of about five people that sat in my chair that I thought they need this not only do I need this but it is my responsibility as a stylist to give the people sitting in my chair the stylists that work in my salon the best the best of the best I want that for my family my st my clients were literally family to me even though I don't see them because I don't work behind the chair they are literally like huge parts of my heart and someday I may work behind the chair again when my kids get older because I love it so much and you know what that feels like but what, what I kind of want to share just for a second is Monate is family owned and operated. Monate's distribution center and where they make the products, everything is all under the same roof in the USA in Florida. You guys, I have never been able to sell a product that went straight from the conveyor belt to the front door of my client. And I mean, and that's the thing is like, it's, if, it, if it's even in the salon, a professional grade product, it's still sitting on the shelf before it goes to them. Do you know how many times I would buy retail and I'm just dusting it off and then I'm marking it down and then I don't make jack fiddly crap on it. And then so-and-so's like, I really need hairspray. Oh crap, I need to run to the supply store and get her hairspray because she needs it, blah, blah, blah. None of that. And I am telling you. It. Yes. Like really, it. truthfully, I feel like the retail opportunity that we were taught in beauty school is something that I never experienced. I never truly got to experience the benefits of retail. It was supposed to be a second stream of income right. for us as stylists, and that didn't happen. Maybe you're out there killing it in your retail world, but I guarantee 95% of stylists are not seeing a sustainable residual income from the products that they're using. And that's the biggest thing that Monet did for all of us is when someone becomes a VIP customer, they are getting the products fresh to death, 
thrown their conveyor <laughs> belt to their front door. And when they want them, they are not signing up for an auto ship. They are signing up to get products when they want them. They have complete control over what they get when it comes to their door. They get access to flash sales. They get 15% off. They get a free product of the month. They get free shipping. They get a $25 birthday code. That is way more than I ever could offer my clients in my chair on my own. That is one thing I love and I think we all agree about Monet is they do the hard stuff for us. They keep track of our orders. They all, they, they create a VIP suite for your customer to go in and customize their orders and then they have you as their personal person to help them figure out what they need. I personally had zero time to do all of that working behind the chair. I yeah. agree. Yeah. <laughs> I so I, woo! Woo! I, I'm really so excited. I tell people it's like becoming a preferred customer. I'm like, you become my preferred customer when you become a VIP because then I can like, I know your hair. I know hair, I do hair. I can help you find the exact stuff that you need. But then Monique is like giving them specials and flash sales and all these things that I couldn't do. And I'll think of them, I'm like, hey, you need this product. It's like perfect for you. So go jump on this and they get excited because you thought of them. The thing that Jessica said that I just kind of want to explain you guys, but what residual income is, excuse me, she said residual, and I know a lot of us hear that word or they've never heard of that word I before. I had to Google it. <laughs> really? When I first heard yeah. about residual income with Monet, I was like, residual. what is that? <laughs> residual, you guys, residual, if you don't know, it's amazing. You are basically sleeping. So this idea of a stylist, we have to be behind the chair constantly to make money. This is what they have ingrained in our minds to do in school which is true. You take a vacation, you take a sick day, you're out of money. That sucks. Your kids are sick. Yes, yeah. and it was awful, and I felt like I was working on a Sunday. You are, you're just trying to like, trying to get people in as quick as you can, and then you're trying to fill up your other days, but then you have no other days, so get these other people in, and it's just exhausting. And so, residual, you guys, is basically you're sleeping, making money. What a relief, what a sense of freedom. Freedom that is just to be sleeping and knowing, okay, I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna, my customers are gonna be having their orders fulfilled. And that is a percentage back in my pocket, even more importantly, that is them getting their products, like Jessica just explained, to their doorstep. Mm -hmm. yeah. That way they're not running around, coming into the salon, and trying to figure out what products to get or stopping at Walmart or stopping at Target yep. mm -hmm. and there goes money out of your pocket. Did you know over 50% of consumers today are wanting naturally based products? Mm -hmm. Money is all, it's naturally based. So that shows you, just to show you the products that are in the supply houses right now, they're not natural. They're not <laughs> organic. Not all of them. Maybe a few. They're sealed half the time. No. Yes. Not. And I can tell you, those they are their shelf life is long. Yeah. My mate's shelf life is two years. You have to shake it up to get the products. The products separate inside because it's it's plant derivative. You have to shake it up. So that just shows you that the things that they the science that they put behind these products, you guys. They, there's, there's a purpose for that, for right. the hair. Mm -hmm. And so that is why residual is such an, a crucial part of every stylist business and that we want to explain this to you guys. And we just talking to us or listening to us, we want you guys just to breathe confidence yeah. in this. It's just something that the salon industry has never offered us as stylists. And I think none of us really fully grasped it when we walked into it, but Monet did style us a huge, huge favor. And maybe you're thinking, well, it's MLM. I don't want to be one of those people. I don't want to be one of those people. I thought those exact same <laughs> <Me too>. words <laughs> when I first joined and I thought, I'm going to do this my way. And turns out my way of being authentic, making sure that I only tell someone about it if I really think they need it, only telling someone that I really want them to do with me, this with me if I think they would really do a good job. That is the way that Monate does things and luckily, <laughs> that's just good. But I wanna just kinda um, elaborate a little bit. So you're thinking, okay, you're talking about residual income. How does that work? What does that look like? I wanna explain to you, so a VIP, they are your VIP for life. 
The retention rate with Monate is so special because we have less than 1% return rate. You guys, the VIPs that joined with me five years ago when I first started, they're still purchasing with me. And guess what? I'm not working behind the chair, but I still get to serve them and help them with their hair products needs. You guys, when I was working behind the chair, I worked behind the chair for three years doing Monate behind the chair. I had people moved to Arizona. They were my VIP customer. They moved. I no longer am servicing them behind the chair. I'm no longer making money off of them behind the chair, but I'm still allowed to help them with their hair care and get paid on that. So when a VIP customer joins, Monate makes a retention and what's the word? Like, um, uh, the, like consistency or the consistency. I don't know if I was thinking, what I'm thinking of, yeah. but like they're they're with you. They're your customer. They can't hop around and buy one time from loyal. Elizabeth. Loyal. One, loyal. 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 It's a loyalty, loyalty program. program. <laughs> but not only to them, but to you. So they're going to be your person. They can't just hop around like maybe some company, somebody could buy this from this person this mm -hmm. month and this from this person. So the work also that you are doing now is going to pay off from three years to the, today to from now the haircut that you are doing isn't going to pay other than if, unless they come back to you all the time which they probably do but it's just to think like can i double that and truly make a second stream of income the answer is yes and that's why we're here sharing this with you because it truly is that amazing and the part of the thing that we do is branding you guys, the people that want to sit in your chair, so I'm talking to you, Silas, the people that want to sit in your chair, they're looking for an expert, okay? They have shown that more people that embark on their, their niche, like something that, so I'm really passionate about curly hair. So people want to reach out to people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> people want to reach out to an expert, okay? So you've seen products now. There's so many product lines, you guys, that are geared towards a specific, specific, you know, hair, hair texture, okay, hair density, hair texture, they are targeting each of that market. Mm -hmm. So when you have a customer that is sitting in your chair and they're, they're specifically going to you for your niche, okay, mm -hmm. they're looking for knowledge about product. Mane gives that knowledge to you. There's so much resources. You guys will not be lost and in doing you. this. So when, you, when they become you a, a VIP customer, that not only shows them that you are giving them full-on VIP treatment, that you are taking care of them. You are knowing your product line. You are passionate about this. They are geared towards specific um, hair texture. So there's curly, there's for fine, there's for thick, there's for wavy, there's for dry. I mean, everything that you can think of, my Nate has specifically designed a product for you and for your clients. So that way that they're, when they're ordering, you're helping them every step of the way. There's, and let's be honest. I don't mean to interrupt. <laughs> How many times can you go to the supply store or be using a product? And I mean, it literally like, if I put volume for Liz and something with hydration for me, at the end of the day, well, the what, smells, oh, yes. what smells good, right, right. yeah. you know? Yeah. Because I think we've just been so lost on finding a product that actually says what it and I think oh, yes. and also how when people say like oh it's not like professional that anyone can sell it whatever you I think you have to remember that specifically as a stylist we have that advantage okay we have the trust people already trust us and they're coming to us because they they want to know what do you recommend I, you can tell your client anything but we'll buy it like that yeah mm -hmm. so to have the trust and to, to feel like these products are I just had this conversation with another stylist. I had told her, I can get what you're putting in your salon at TJ Maxx, at CVS, at Ulta, when they have their big sales. What, how is that quote unquote professional? This is something that is for, this is huge for stylists, not just mm -hmm. for stylists, but do you know what I mean? Like, well, yeah. you, have, you have no need to carry it as a retail then. If yeah. anybody else can get it, yeah. then what money are you making back? Right, like, There's exactly. no profit in that. Yeah, yeah. Well, and that's where the retention comes in the royalty right. too, okay. is because when somebody's out of shampoo, 
They are just run to the store and get it. Mm -hmm. Right. Like they know that it's coming to them. They don't have to worry about that anymore. And not only that is now we have skincare and wellness. Yeah. There's literally so many avenues. Yeah. Like there's multiple streams of yeah. income yeah. in Monet alone. Well, I guess so. Um, even if someone moves, I mean, they can still order it and you're still getting that right. retention from it. Yeah. Instead Liz, of finding another. Since you've only been in it for a month and yeah. we've been in it for years. I know. I, or not a month, a couple like, months. A couple months. Awesome. Well, like where, where has like your perspective changed with just like being a stylist and having this like seclusive yeah. product I mean, to I offer to your clients? Yeah, like it's something that you can offer that other people, I mean, obviously the stylist in our salon, a lot of them offer it, but I mean, a lot of my people hadn't even heard of it or they had heard mixed reviews about it and they weren't really sure what to think. And they trust me because they've been coming to me for so many years that they're like, well, I guess I'm going to trust you because you've done hair for a long time and I've heard good or bad or whatever about it. And I'm like, look at my hair. It speaks for itself. Right. Right? I mean, the results are there. You, you try it for yourself and then you give me your opinion. Yeah. Well, and yeah. I think, um, what is one question behind the chair? What do people ask you? What, well, what do you use on your yeah, hair? Yeah. Yes. That's the thing. They want to know. Like, mm -hmm. what are you using? Well, what did you do? Right and now that and my hair's got longer because yeah. it used to be short. She forever. was a VIP for a year. Yeah. So I feel like she confidently like used it, right. knew she loved it, and then which when I think is helpful too because I'm like I've used it for a long time, so I have a good base on like what I think about it. It's right. not like I just signed up last month and I'm trying to sell it to you now because right. I want to make money off of you. People are like, oh, I trust you. You've used it. Mm -hmm. You know what you're doing. Yeah. Like, I trust you with my hair. And a lot of them want to grow their hair out, and they can't. And they've seen me grow my hair yeah. out. They just have a pixie. Well, and how many years. times will people have those short pieces here? Yes, I had those short pieces up. here. Yeah. We've all, all, had all had those clients. Yeah. We've all have been in that boat before. And that's, I mean, Monet is just clinically proven. And the one thing that I want to just elaborate a little bit on Liz is a, something that I run into as a stylist a lot, and just in my business with Monet, and I'm sure. You girls, I'll have people say to me like, oh, you're just so lucky you got it right in the beginning. And I want to be like, no, that's no, not how it is at all. Do you know how many people that got in the very, in, in the beginning and did nothing with their business? Like it is 100% on what you want to make yeah. it and do with it. Liz signed up the end of August. She is doing so good, you guys. Like, I cannot even, like, she ranked up yesterday in the company. Her team is growing. Her sales are mm -hmm. so good. If she would have said, well, I know a bunch of people that already sell it, or I have a bunch of clients, because you have clients that were using yeah, it, yeah, right? Yeah. And, I, or you, you know, I you can do. get yeah. in your head about that mm -hmm. and say, well, these people are doing it. I'll never do good. It's too late. Five years old. Monet is five years yes. old, guys. We are just going to kindergarten <laughs> as a company. We have just begun. Yeah. Liz started in the end of August. And she's doing it. so. If she would have thought, well, this isn't gonna work. There's too many people doing it. But she had clients that said, I've heard about this. Yeah. I've wanted to try it. Yes. So it opened that door for them. And that's the thing is like, I know some people get in their heads like, well, this anybody can sell it. I got out of that my frame of mind a long time ago yeah. because when diversion happened yeah. in the salon industry, anybody could sell it then. Yeah. But not everybody cool. will. And the girls, right. yeah, I think yes. too, like some of the girls who have signed up under me, I mean, none of them are hairstylists. And right. I'm like, I will teach you. I will help yes. you. If yes. you have questions, educate. Yeah. I will help educate you and point you on to yes. the, you the know, thing, what to look for. The thing that I loved the most that you said is that when you explain the products to your clients, they've never heard of money. Mm -hmm. So many people don't do this business because, oh, well, everybody's, everybody is already selling using it. Everybody's it. already selling using it. it. Everybody already knows about it. No. Nobody still knows about it. <laughs> and That's, us four stylists. I had a girl message me from Houston and goes, I've never heard of this before. Yes. Tell me more. And I'm yeah. like, okay. And, and do you know how much our circles overlap? Yes. yes. Like yes. our, like I've known Olivia forever. I've known Tara my whole ding ding life. I've known Liz. We live, <laughs> we live in the same town. Yeah. Like, there, there's so many people that are doing Monet that their circles overlap, but I don't know half the people these girls yeah. know. Yeah. And, and they don't know the people I know. And for those stylists that are sorry i keep going back to but the, the stylists that feel like anyone can sell whatever we're four stylists here right here that are not mad that love that we can like help other people and educate them so that they can sell it like not every stylist feels that way we're right. we're, we're all glad that other yeah, people can sell it. Help. Oh, yeah. i think there is like this kind of some some stylists do feel like well you know this whole thing but it's like we're here to tell you 
hey, we're black. Like, right. We're yeah. so well, thankful. Like, that. And I'll say too, the resources in the back office, the things that you, the, the education that Monate puts out is not typical of a company as far as hair care because I never learn as much about hair and product yes. wise and the that kind of stuff as I have with Monet in the last five years. It's true. Yes. We have a board, mm -hmm. scientific advisory board, Dr. To Toasty. Yeah. And what? I don't know. It's like yeah, Antoinette. Antoinette. She's Antoinette. like a world renowned trichologist. That is the study of the scalp. You guys, she goes to Barcelona and they have the World Congress of Hair. This was like two years ago. The World Congress of Hair only meets like every five years or something like that. It is literally the Olympics of hair care. Who out there as a stylist has heard of the World Congress of Hair? I know that I had not. Oh. I've only heard about the beauty show in Chicago, the yeah. beauty show yeah. in yeah. LA. Yeah. The beauty yeah. show you don't in get hours for. Yeah. No! <laughs> but the World crazy. Congress of Hair is where the best of the best come together to show their findings in the hair care world. And Dr. Toasty put her stamp of approval on Monet and took it to Barcelona to the World Congress of Hair, showed the clinical studies and was like, holy this crap, is crazy. look at how good this is. Yeah. You know, we had haters years ago that tried to like deframe Monet essentially. Yes. I'm sure you heard about it. I'm sure that's one of the reasons that you're hesitant yes. to join this yeah. company. Mm -hmm. But during that time, Monet held their head up high because they're like, we have zero, we have nothing to hide. We have absolutely nothing to hide. And they went above and beyond and spent millions of dollars on clinical studies to show the world this is not true. They didn't have to do that, but they did do it. And that just is something that like speaks of their integrity and who they are as a company and what they want for all of us yeah. and the future that we have with Monet. Yeah. Something that you can be really confident in is that the reason why we had such huge backlash, you guys, is when, when you are a, disrupt, a disruptor in this business, in, yeah. industry. in this industry, it's going to cause a wave like mm -hmm. that. And so I'm so thankful that Monet saw us. They wanted to fight for us. Yeah. And we wanted to fight for them. Yeah. And I, you guys. And we grew, like, what, 700? Right. Yeah, we have over, what, 2 million VIPs mm -hmm. now. And we are the number one hair care, premium mm -hmm. hair care company in the world. In the yes. world. Like, Sometimes. think of anything. Any, you can have any a piece product. of that pie. Yeah. Any product you know of, <laughs> Monet, truly on the charts, has sold more. We yeah. are three. Well, and anytime someone comes to me and they're like, I've heard mixed things. I'm like, have you tried it for yourself? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because that's where I was at. I was hearing mixed things from people. And I was like, you know what? Rather than you know, going and bashing something that I don't know, I am gonna try it for myself. And I ended up loving it. And, yes. and it changed my hair. And now it's changing my clients' hair. Like the people who have actually signed up and are using it faithfully are sending me pictures of their <laughs> hair like, you guys, people are com complimenting my hair all the time. And I've never had good hair like It's this. literally and, one of the best feelings. And I feel like this is a question that a lot of styles have to, you know, they've been asking is, what about the price point? My clients would never buy that. It's too expensive. Yeah. This this sort of thing. I I want to ask you guys what you guys think behind the chair. If people have like not bought a product because it was too expensive. Me personally, I think when people see the results yeah. on their hair, they're gonna buy that. And I think too when I kind of did some research a little bit last night on the hair industry, consumers are spending way more money on hair care products right now and so that's why we are a three three billion dollar industry mm -hmm. so do you guys feel and like clients have oh my gosh and and it's, even, it's so concentrated and yeah so many of the products that were that even are the professional grade are so filled with water yeah, right that's what i told someone last night she's like well i like my walgreens shampoo and i said but i guarantee you're gonna go through five bottles of it yeah before you right it, it, it truly yeah. does last a really long time the price point too like i know sometimes people say like about having liters behind the shampoo bowls and stuff mm -hmm. about the size they're so concentrated you use such a small amount and for for me when i blow dry their hair when they are literally just like oh my gosh that's mm -hmm. worth it to me yeah like yeah. yeah that's yeah. everything to me but the price point is so comparable to any mm, top grade whatever that you're using for sure yeah. you get what you pay for that's what yeah. i tell them 
Yeah. In anything in life. Well, and like, how many people know? have just a graveyard of products? I know yeah. I did. Yeah. <laughs> like people are buying things in hopes that it'll work. And I haven't had to switch my shampoo in five years. <laughs> Before I would like feel like my hair would almost like get used to it and I'd almost have to find something new so it would start feeling good again or start, yeah. you know, because it was getting just weird. But I've never had to do this, that with Monet. Like I've no. literally not had anything but Monet touch my hair in yeah. five years. Same. Let's talk about, which I know stylists are going to want to know this, how do I make money? Like how is this, I know we talked a little bit about residual, but I think everyone wants to know like, okay, if you look down to the business side of things, because honestly, that's what we're, that's what you guys are tuning in for because you're like, okay, how is this, how is this making you a business? Like how are you guys able to step away from the chair, retire from behind the chair, start up a business, you know, continue to provide clients with hair care, make it go back to income. Yeah, yeah, be able to, you know, allow that that time freedom, trips and taking care of oh, our kids, that's like going to the doctors, that's mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Like we're we are all we're all there, you guys, we're all there with you. So we're gonna kinda explain a little bit how each of us has made money, has mm -hmm. made a substantial income. Um, through this business and this is why we want to bring this to you guys today because we know we hear the stresses we know how this business can go and it's scary especially in COVID right now a lot of us had to, had to close our salons right a lot of us have had to step back for a long time and we're thinking how am I gonna make up for that money two months ago three months ago that I have not been able to be behind the chair so that's why we want to do this special for you guys with the style, like with stylists, just to help you guys out to knowing what this can actually do for you guys in your business, in your clients, in your social marketing, anything that has to do with your salon. This is why we are here to bring money to you guys. So let's talk about let's talk about the uncomfortable, the yeah. money. But we need to do it because I know that's important. I'm not us. uncomfortable about it because oh. I feel like it truly is just um, a way to get truly a second stream of income. And for me, behind the chair, like when I very first started, I thought, okay, I cannot use Redken hair, I'm gonna just, I don't know, I use Redken. I can't use this Redken hairspray on somebody when I am saying I'm Monet, I'm 100% Monet. So early on, I literally had, I mean, we could not afford to change my whole product back bar and all that, but it was an investment that I said, okay, I have to be all in on this. I can't expect my clients and my customers to be all in if I'm not. And I knew the importance of not mixing brands because Monet part, it is only what I'm using on everybody. Even if I think this person isn't going to buy it. Even if I think, I don't think so-and-so is ever going to do this because she only uses Pantene or whatever it may be. But I thought, you know what? This is who I am. This is what I'm doing. And I am not going to decide for anybody right. if they want to use this product or join my team and do this with me. So that was a huge step that I did early on. And mm -hmm. anyone that was in That's my chair, too. yeah, yeah. Well, anyone that was in my chair, I used that as their sample. I taught them how to mm -hmm. use it. I told them why it was amazing. I told them why I'm using it. I told them why I decided to switch all of my products over to Monet because of what I believed and knew that it would do for their hair and I believe that that was the first step in my business of being serious and moving forward. I think if I hadn't have done that, I don't think that I would be in the position yeah, that I am now. Because you're like honestly. half in or half out. You know what right. I mean? You, you have to be all in. And I when think people see you using it on their hair, then they're like, oh, what is that stuff? What did right. you just use on my hair? But Why if I use like a Redken hairspray yeah. on them after I use all on eight, then I'm sending that message that you can do that too. Mix. Yeah. And, and honestly, that was my thing. I didn't let go of my hairspray for the first couple months and my hair, I could tell when oh, I yes. finally switched over to being full Monate is when my hair started to really take that turn. Yes. So, okay. We cannot tell you exactly how much we make because of income claims and because it's just, it's just against the law. We can't do that. But what we can do is say, <clears throat> that if you want to make $50 extra a month, you can. If you want to make an extra $5,000 a month, you can. If you want to make 15, 20, 30, 40, $50,000 a month, you can do There's that. There's no cap on There's it. There's no cap in this business. I know people <clears throat> that 
that make a lot of money and a lot. And I would love, love, love for you guys, like what they were talking about, getting your mind right to knowing that there's a possibility that there is a way to do this if you just put your mind to it and you don't care about that it's an MLM. You take all that, take all the other things out of this, of your mind that is making you guys not want to do this. And, <laughs> and have in five months, vision. she'll be saying, I am so glad. Yeah, this is like, 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 like two months in. I'm I like, have, why did I do this when Jess well, talked to Liz me? Liz called me on, we get paid twice. We get paid a bonus check once a month and we get paid every Friday. She called me with her bonus check of like her first bonus check and was practically in tears. Yeah. I was and was like, like I am <laughs> completely in shock. Like I, and I'm just like, and this is just the beginning. It really truly is. I remember my I, first paycheck, yeah. Nick was like, they made a mistake. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. They made a mistake. Take it back. Or don't get your heart set on that. You'll never mm -hmm. make that again. You know? And, and that's the money is a huge part of this. Monet created an amazing product. They've created an amazing compensation plan. This is not their first rodeo, you guys. This is, they have been in the direct sales industry their whole lives. It's a family owned company. And the way they created it is for people to grow and make sustainable income. And because it's a residual, because it's a consumable product and it's shampoo that is the number one premium hair care one in the whole world, that's why people are making such great income selling this product is because it actually works and does what it says it does while being able, yes, what am I saying? Yeah. You know, everybody, well, everybody, everybody has to wash their hair. hair. Yeah. Yes. Yes. going to stop washing their hair. Yes. And I mean, and that's <laughs> the thing is, is the income is one thing, but we, we travel a lot right now, obviously with COVID, everything slows down, but I am traveling with Monet four times a year. They have trips that are actually attainable. So if that's something that's in you, like I would love to travel for free. I, I mean, I have been on probably 23 trips around the world. We've been to Mexico, I've been to Hawaii, we've been to Vegas, how many times? We've been to um, Can I mean, Arizona, Arizona. Yeah. like uh, literally, um, we're going to Punta Cana in February. Like it is Bermuda, such a yeah. great icing on the cake where I never had any hair care company take me anywhere. I've never had them see me. I've never had them care about my future and where I'm going. They, I, I drive a white Cadillac, you guys, for the last three, four years, I've driven a white Cadillac that is paid for by Monet. And you know what the best thing is? It's not for the tippity top of the company. The, mm -hmm. It is smack dab in the middle of the compensation plan. And there's over 600 Cadillacs on the road today. And that is just like, that's the best part about it is I walked into a business where I was using this amazing hair product that was maybe gonna bring me some residual income and bring us something where we're not living paycheck to paycheck, where something at the salon or something at my house broke, we're just draining our savings. Like to me, I thought if I could make an extra thousand dollars a month, this would be absolutely life changing to me. And the thing is, is what I didn't realize and why I feel like I'm so thankful that this is an MLM company is because now I get to experience this and see my friends mm -hmm. get, mm -hmm. have freedom with it, go on trips, drive cars, see their dreams met and we get to do it all together. And I really don't think there's anything that's comparable to that because I'll tell you what, it's not the, it's not fun if you're the only one going on trips. It's not yeah. fun if you're the only person getting to drive a white Cadillac. It's fun when you get to celebrate others for their successes and seeing their life change too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I mean, my biggest thing is to any stylist that's skeptical out there, I want to just encourage you and say from truly the bottom of our hearts is take what you've heard, take the MLM that maybe you're feeling like, oh, I just can't get past that. Or the fact that somebody else can sell it that's not a stylist. You guys, nobody said that professional hair products had to only be sold by stylists. It's yeah. shampoo for heaven's sake. <laughs> yes. But you know, somebody who doesn't know how to cut hair. Yeah, distributors yes. are like, like, yeah, I had people come in all the time to my salon teaching me about products and doing all this stuff and they had never cut hair a day in their life. Yeah. Don't let the things 
that somebody told you or somebody taught you keep you away from something that could be life-changing for you and your family's life and your friend's life and the people that you do life with and in your just business take yeah. take all of those things away and I want to encourage you to try it for yourself just simply try it yeah. for yourself mm -hmm. and go back to the person that invited you to this live and say I, I'm, I'm open to trying it I, I really want to be open to it. I don't want to just go off of what somebody told me or what somebody said or what I read. Mm -hmm. Because listen, like what Tara said is Monet disrupted the industry. No one has done that before. Mm -hmm. But the reason they did is because it was really, really good, you guys. It was really good. If it wasn't good, it would have slid right under the radar and nobody would even care about it. So if you shake that mindset to where... This isn't hurting me as a stylist. This is actually helping me as a stylist and is gonna change the trajectory of my business. Here yeah, I am. Yeah, you have nothing to lose, literally. Yeah. And we got lots of clinical studies to prove it. And you, and you guys, I wanna just reiterate this too. I know sometimes like social media and marketing and branding is really scary because you're like, well, I can't do what they do. I can't. If I, if I embark on this business, if I trust this company and I do this, then who's going to help me to, to get, do lives and branding and marketing? You guys, they have already made a huge brand. Yeah. They are number one. Your branding is, is there. You just have to, you just have to not or get yourself in the right mindset. You have to know the products, know what you're doing, and that is it. That's it. And then it just comes naturally yeah. off of that. And then you're able to, then that passion is ignited. Mm -hmm. And then you're able to, you know, to help your clients out by seeing results, seeing yeah. that. And then obviously you start seeing results too, as you're checking out your first, your first paycheck yeah. and then your retail is, you don't have to have retail in your salon. It is anymore. so freeing. You yeah. guys, what if somebody told you that you could sell retail, but you didn't have to stock it? Like it's unheard of, but it's real. It is. And I will say like in my salon, if I can turn this, I'll turn this around later. But in my salon, I do carry some of the product lines, but that's only if one person's like, I need to have my dry shampoo and that's all I want, then that's fine. But if somebody's wanting like four or five different products, what better opportunity for them to sign up as a VIP customer, receive a free product, free shipping, 15% discount off of all of those products, plus another discount that we have is called Purchase Plus discount. Oh yeah. So they're yeah. getting they're and they're getting access to all the sales that you guys always see us post mm -hmm. about because they're just so good. And so, therefore, it gives them even more, uh, your customers, even more of a benefit and to a VIP customer service that only you can provide. So, as much as, like, your friends are coming to you to give you support, they're looking for the next best thing. They're looking for, is she up to date on her trends? Does she know her products? Does she know hair? Like, I mean, they know that you know hair, but are you really giving them the salon oh. customer experience? that every single person deserves, not just not just the people that aren't your friends, but your friends too. Like you wanna be able to wow them. You wanna be able to ignite that passion. And so that is what that is what Monet has done. It is, in my opinion, it is more professional than anything I've ever tried before. Not just the product, but the, but the system that they have down. They have mapped it out completely for you. There's no nothing to worry about. Just make you sure hard work. They do. They, they did all the hard work. The, they took the middle man out. Yeah. So you don't have to go to a supply house to get your retail. They took mm -hmm. that out. So that, therefore, they not only give us every dollar that they make in the company, guys, they give 50% 50 per, 50 of that back to its field. We're its field. We're getting 50% back out of that dollar that they're, that they're, you know, that the consumer is buying. Mm -hmm. So that just speaks volumes what they think of the people that sign up with them. That's why you see all these success stories. That's why you see everyone driving a white Cadillac around. That's why you see trips. They're they're achievable. Mm -hmm. They own they own their whole. They have they're a debt free company, yeah. guys. I don't know any. That's other why we go on so many have. trips. I bet they have to. They like, they put right off. They like, right off. Let's, let's go to Hawaii. Hawaii. Yes. <laughs> so. It really is. Yeah, no, that's so good. I love what you said about removing the middle.
middleman because that's what yeah. they did. They removed the middleman. There's nobody in between us and Monet. We are their marketing. We are their voice. And I love that they allowed that for us because it truly is life changing to so many people. And you get to make it what you want to make it. And sometimes, honestly, I think busier people are better at this yes. business because you already know how to spin so many plates. I know that you're working hours behind the salon chair and you're giving it your all. But what if Monet could take some of that weight off your shoulders? Maybe there's something tucked inside you and you're like, man, I would love to not work weekends anymore. I would love to not work nights. I would love to work part time or whatever it is because maybe you're not like me and wanted to be away from the chair during this season of your life. But maybe you wanted something to just give you a little bit less of a burden of it all relying on your shoulders. And I think that's basically yeah. why we're here today. Yeah. Why and we want to like share me and say, I'm not that girl. Like Tara was saying, I don't yeah. want to be that girl. I can't put myself out there like that. And then you just get super excited mm -hmm. about it. And you keep learning about it and you can't shut your mouth. Yeah. And then you just have to be that girl. Yeah. And that the, you become that I'm girl. <laughs> happy to be that girl. I yes. love being the Monate girl. And I love that it's not just me. We can all be the Monet girl because we all have different circles and yeah. we all know different people. And I feel like that's all it is. If you decide I want to do this, you go all in. Yeah. You say, I don't, I'm, I'm going, when people think of Monet, I want them to think of mm -hmm. me. And I think that if you kind of take that forward, use the products, make sure you love it for yourselves. Nice. Maybe see what we're trying to tell you. <laughs> and then once you do, you are then going to want to give the best to your clients too. And you have a listening audience in front of you every single day. So Absolutely. yeah, I don't know if anybody has any questions I was or looking if you guys have questions, um, we can kind of, do you want to answer them now or probably just hop off and then answer them later? Yeah, we could answer them just in the comments. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Olivia, do you have so, anything else to add? No, guys. Yes. <laughs> right. right on the head. Yes. Well, thank you guys so yeah. much yeah. for you guys. tuning in and listening to us for a little bit. So I hope you guys have a great weekend. And yeah, just like what Jess said, message back the person that invited you guys to this and ask them any questions that you may have. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and soaked up all this good information. I want to show them your shop. Oh, yeah, oh, show okay. them. Look. Here. Um, so she has, let me turn this around. You can show Kai's handle all that. So here's all her Monet on the back bar. Isn't that so cute? Sorry. And then she does have some retail here. There you go. Um, that, like we talked about, you We're do not have to have. Oh, rotate your... it is nice <laughs> if you're in a salon to be able to have a blowout cream if somebody runs out or something. And honestly, I think this is just more for the looks. Than okay. Anything Here's her salon, you guys. Yes. Because if her clients came over and said, okay, I think I'll just buy this today, and then I'll I'll become a VIP later, Tara would say, well, you're saving like $70, getting all that you need, because she specializes in curly stuff, getting all of your curly products, you're going to save way more money being a, being a VIP. So she's, they're going to be like, oh, wow.